Tonight, we have the privilege of hearing Dr. Johnson speak once more. Um, he's a graduate of both Harvard University and the University of Chicago School of Law. He has served as a law clerk to Chief Justice Earl Warren. Dr. Johnson taught law at the University of California, Berkeley for over 30 years and has written five books. His best-selling book, Darwin on Trial, launched the intelligent design movement, which has transformed the public debate over the scientific difficulties of Darwinism. Our speaker has lectured and debated at universities all across our nation. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Jo Dr. Johnson back again. I'll by begin by telling you a true story of something that happened a couple of years ago uh, in uh, uh, the spring of uh, 2001. I gave some lectures in Washington, D.C., and I also spoke with some of the senators and representatives about my views on the theory of evolution and how we had to bring some freedom of thought and freedom of speech to this area. Well, the constitutional freedoms that we have in other areas, the freedom to question the official orthodoxy. Uh, after I got home from uh, Washington, I received a message from Senator Rick Santorum, Republican of Pennsylvania, who said that he wanted to introduce a, a, an, an amendment uh, to the pending federal education bill in the United States uh, 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 Senate. Uh, this is the Leave No Child Behind Education Act, which was eventually passed, uh, was being sponsored by the President and also by Senator Ted Kennedy. It was a, a bipartisan uh, uh, effort uh, uh, to provide aid for uh, education. Now, um, my, the theme of my talks in Washington had been my recommendation that we should be teaching the controversy about evolution. It, it, I, I said we ought, ought to teach the young people the official theory of evolution, that's information that they should have, what the scientists believe, but they should also learn the problems with the theory and why many people don't believe it. So Senator Santorum said, I want to introduce a teach the controversy amendment to this education legislation. So I took that as a hint that he would like uh, some suggested language, and I, uh, I wrote out uh, a bill for the senator and sent it in. Uh, I didn't know. Uh, the senator's staff uh, told me they were uncertain whether his amendment would get any votes. I drafted it in the hope I could present an amendment that would attract uh, votes. Uh, for him. And, and here was the, um, the Santorum Amendment, the text of it, which uh, uh, I, I gave him. Uh, it's in uh, two sentences. We really ought to have it in big letters out up in front here, but uh, uh, you can read all about the Santorum Amendment and the story of how it was introduced and passed in chapter one of my latest book, <laughs> The Right Questions. After you've bought one or two of the others, that would be a good one to go on to. Now here is the amendment. It is the sense of the Senate, that's just the introductory language, that sentence one, remember there are two sentences, here's sentence one, good science education should prepare students to distinguish the data or testable theories of science from philosophical or religious claims that are made in the name of science. Got that? Distinguish the philosophical claims from the testable theories or the data. Uh, and then, sentence two, where biological evolution is taught, the curriculum should help students to understand why this subject generates so much continuing controversy and should prepare students to be informed participants in public discussions regarding the subject. You see, that's the embodiment of teach the controversy, uh, right there in that language. Uh, Senator S Santorum introduced that amendment in the U.S. Senate very soon after he received it, uh, and much to my astonishment, and I'm sure his, uh, Senator Ted Kennedy, manager of the bill for the Democrats, uh, uh, stood up and said, I hope every senator will vote for this amendment. It's an excellent amendment. We should teach students uh, these different things.